Okay, Sarah, Dave, here we are, 2201 Dakota Avenue. Here's the front of the house, kind of the front yard. Here's from the other corner of the front yard. Probably looks better without the leaves all over the ground. So not a huge front yard, a little bit of a slope on the driveway. Better look at the front of the house. As you walk in from the front door, gives you the choice to either go down, up, or into the living room. Living room has the big windows. So in the afternoon and evening, this room is gonna be really bright, It'll be nice. <laughs> so we'll go upstairs first. As you come up, you're in the dining room and kitchen. So an okay size, pretty decent sized dining area. You got some AC intakes right up there. And then you have bedroom one, bedroom two, bathroom, little storage closet, master bedroom, all that right off the kitchen. And so kitchen, you do have the peninsula here, probably fit three bar stools or so right there if you needed to. Quite a bit of lower cabinets. And then over here, oven and microwave. Entrance to the side yard. You can walk around back. I'll do that in a little bit. Master bedroom. Not a huge room. Not a very big closet either. And then master bathroom. Big mirror, a single vanity, jetty tub, so not too bad. Here is the shared bathroom. Moisture. Moisture's gotten to there as well. A little bit on this side too. Another bedroom as you walk in, kind of a closet sticks out into the room. But they've done a little shiplap on the back wall there. These windows would need cleaned. I don't think the seal is bad. Maybe it is on this one, but they're just getting some hard water from the sprinklers outside. These bedrooms are not big, but would be, would handle a twin bed and a nightstand possibly and Everything else would have to go in the closet. Not much room for a dresser in either of these rooms. There's your attic access. Now we'll head downstairs and then go outside last. This is that front room again, just to kind of show you a pretty decent size. So then we head down here. So this living room area is also pretty decent but i can't get the main lights in here to turn on so this light or this light i cannot get them to turn on you see it kind of opens up a little bit back here as well there's that little jog as the stairs come down 
So you see pretty decent sized room. This here goes out to the garage. So you walk in from the garage into the basement and then walk up from there. This garage is actually a really good size. Looks like it's probably about 22, 23, possibly even 20, yeah, about 23 or four feet deep. So you can fit a full size pickup. Lots of built-in storage there, there. And then this whole wall also. And looks like even more, you pull that down and you can access some room up there too. So here is the first bedroom in the basement. Not super bright. As you can see, we do have the drop ceiling. It's not a sheetrock ceiling. Fairly small closet. It's just that single section there. This one's actually a little bit smaller than the upstairs bedrooms. So this, there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> so this is combined, here's your furnace, AC, and then they've got the drain through here. So they put that little thing to walk on because you were Washer is over here, stand up shower, water softener, vanity and medicine cabinet, toilet, electrical panel, and dryer. All in one room. This is a uh, main water shut off for the whole house. basement bedrooms once again fairly small small single closet here's a small storage closet and then the last bedroom in the basement Once again, pretty small, and then this one has the little kick out, which makes it even smaller. Insane small closet. So now we will head upstairs and go check out the outside. Yeah, this is that side door in the kitchen. So I've just walked out, and you do have a deck. It pretty much takes up the whole side yard. You've got maybe another four feet. Four or five, probably about five feet between the deck and the property line, which is the fence. This goes out to the front yard. It's kind of a shame they have so many trees because you can actually get a kind of a look at the valley You're past there. You're up on the side of the hill. So lots of trees. And this part goes to the backyard. And as you can see, there's just a big hill from this retaining wall back and so as you can see from the back of the porch here you got about five to six feet of yard that is that is flat the rest of it is all up the hillside some more trees off the deck so here is the backyard and then I'm gonna come around here. But as you can see from the retaining wall, it goes back. You've probably got another, that's the back corner of the property line where that fence is. So you could figure out a way to use that 25 feet almost, 20 feet. Anyway. Evidence of the gutter is kind of being plugged. See how it's black between the gutter and the fascia? I mean, the gutters are probably plugged. 
some residue on the stucco bottom of the house. It means it's just getting too much moisture. Yeah. But lots of different levels to this retaining wall, which is kind of neat. Hmm. And then here it opens up to the side yard, which side yard is still not big, but that's where the garage kind of sticks out. And right about here is the corner of the yard. So there's the back hill, there's the backyard, here is the side yard, and then it goes straight down this way. See the mailboxes there in the distance? That's right on the property line. Here's the look up at that side yard, a little more retaining wall, side entrance into the garage, and there we go. So overall on this house, there's a lot of touch up, a lot of paint work, not a whole lot of storage other than the garage, not too much yard. <laughs> um, and the bedrooms are pretty small. So that kind of justifies the price. Um, and then there is a lot of gardening, overgrowth, a lot of stuff like that that you may want to take care of as well. So uh, here's the video of that one. So let me know if you got any other questions. Talk to you soon.